Hi everyone and this is going to be a simple guide on how we can install AMD's FSR4 on any GPU and yes this is true but not official because of some leak from AMD's side or by any mistake I don't know but yesterday the AMD FSR4 INT8 files got leaked online and then people just tried it on older GPUs and it worked. In case you don't know that AMD's FSR4 was exclusive to only RX 900 series, the latest GPUs of AMD. And if you don't own those GPUs, you cannot use the AMD FSR4. But now we can using these files and the OptiScaler mode. So this is going to be a simple and easy guide. And I will show you that how you can install the AMD FSR4 with frame generation using the OptiScaler mode. And this will work on every GPU, AMD, Intel or Nvidia. And this will also work on various games and majority of the new games being released. The only condition to use this mode is that the game should be running on DX12 API. And the game should have any one kind of upscaler already in the graphics settings of the game. If these requirements are met, then you can easily use this mode and boost the FPS in any game with better quality. So that's all from the intro and let's jump into it. So first of all, we have downloaded the mode. I will leave the direct download link down below in the description box of this video. So you can directly download from there. Simply click on link and click here on download. It's ad free and click on download. It will download all the files in one single zip format. After downloading this, it will be like this. AMD FSR 4.7 zip. Right click on this and extract it using WinDRAW or 7 zip or any other application you want. After extracting it, you will see we got more files fsr4.dll this is a folder and optiscaler 0.7.9.7 zip so first of all extract the optiscaler this is the main mode which we have to install in our game okay so these are all the mode files which we have to copy and paste inside the main game folder whichever game you are taking i am taking rdi2 as an example and basically copy all the files but leave the amd fsr4.dll leave this folder for now we have to paste it later on so simply copy all the files copy and open the main file location of your game and in case you don't know that what is the main location of your game so basically wherever the main exe is located that is the main folder and here you have to paste the mode in some games like Elden engine 5 games the main exe is located somewhere in binaries win64 folder so make sure you paste in the right location and don't paste where the launcher is located paste where the main exe is located like this rdi2.exe simply paste here it will say to replace simply click on yes replace and now we have the mode pasted and now you will see this file setup windows.bat simply open this and now this is the main thing we have to install the mode simply choose one there are different options to choose from it's basically the way by which the mode will be installed in the game usually the dxgia.dll works the best in most of the cases and it's default to choose that in case it don't work in any specific game you can always uninstall and select different version but one works the best so press one and hit enter and then this is very important it's asking which gpu are you using amd intel or nvidia so make sure to select the correct one I am using NVIDIA so I will put 2 and hit enter but make sure you select the correct one otherwise the mode is not going to work so if you have aimed your Intel GPU select 1 instead of 2 and that's all that's simple now the mode is installed but we have to do one more thing basically so basically go back in that folder where we pasted the files and now open this folder which we got previously from extracting fsr4.dll folder and this is the main file that was leaked online yesterday and simply click here and click on copy and go in the same folder where you currently installed the mode and paste it will ask to replace and replace also you cannot paste this mode file before paste it afterwards after we install the OptiScaler, if you if you paste this before, it will basically not going to work. So that's all. Make sure to paste it after you install the OptiScaler. And that's all. Now the mode installed and now we have to activate the FSR4 with frame generation in-game. Inside the game, first of all, go inside the graphics settings and 
select the DLSS or AMD FSR option, find the upscale related settings and enable NVIDIA's DLSS and put it on quality. You can also choose AMD's FSR instead of DLSS and put that on quality, but make sure to enable either one of them and put them on quality in order to make the mode work. So after this step, now we have to press the insert key on the keyboard to bring the mode menu where we can basically enable or change the mode of FSR4. And in case you don't know that if you don't have the insert key on your keyboard, you can use the on-screen keyboard feature. And if you are on a laptop, press Fn plus insert key in order to make this work. So press insert or Fn plus insert. And then this mode menu will come up here. It will basically say frame generation click here and select opti fg and that's all simply click below and click save ini and it's saying save ini and restart to apply the changes so simply click opti fg and down below save ini and now we have to restart the game once in order to make these changes so now after restarting the game simply press the insert key once again or fn plus insert and now this will bring the full menu where we can control so first of all in the top you will see dlss Click here and click on FSR 3.x and then click on change upscaler and then here we go and now here is the main thing you can see in the FFX settings it's showing AMD's FSR 4.0.2 it means yes the FSR 4 is now working and as you can see it's literally on GT1650 also you can select other options as well like FSR 3.1.5 but anyway use the latest fsr4 and now below you can see the opti fg you can also activate the frame generation by clicking active now the frame gen will be activated and you can see the fps boost click on hud fix this will basically fix those glitches and flicker on the screen of text and hud make sure to click on hud fix and click on allow async this boost fps sometime in some cases and that's all you can see now also on the top you can see D, D3, D12, FSR4 input DLSS and it's working and for proof you can see I'm still using NVIDIA G4 GT1650 it's showing I am not changing GPU and that's all now the FSR4 works and it actually works way better than I thought it will be and you can see it's smooth completely smooth and no glitches in visuals or anything like that also regarding what is improved in fsr4 so basically the the image quality is way more clear and there's a noticeable difference and you can say it's better and the and the best part i found about this is that the image now has less clutter and less glitches like when you see on the uh, character's face the hair quality it looks definitely better and it's noticeable all the improvements compared to the FSR 3.1.5 and also just make sure I will just remember something that this is still a leaked mode and not official so expect some glitches or some bugs in some cases even though it works perfectly fine on the uh, in ARIA 2 and that's all and also I'm now going to show you some common fixes you can see to basically if you face any kind of error in the game or if you want to uninstall the mode here how to do that so now if you want to uninstall the mode for any case like your game crashed or any other error or you just want to uninstall the mode simply open the main file location of your game once again wherever you previously installed the mode and here you will find this remove optiscaler.bat simply click here and then it will say do you want to remove the optiscaler press y and hit enter and that's all it will say optiscaler removed and now the mode is gone from the game also, if you want some basic fixes for some common errors, always keep your GPU drivers up to date and always keep your Windows up to date too because latest modes and latest version of FSR works best with the latest GPU drivers and Windows update. And in case that many people were asking me that the insert key don't work in their case. So as I said, you can use the on-screen keyboard or in case it still don't work, that might be the game is not supporting the mode and as i told you that expect some glitches from this mode because it's new and it's leaked version so that's all and yeah thanks for watching and bye and make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop any comment or any doubt you have thanks for watching bye